Hi, it's Melissa here and I'm finally back and today I have a layout that I made for the cut shop. I used the Bountiful Blessings cut file which was released I think last week and here's a quick look at my layout. So this is for my Grateful album, my word for the year is Grateful and I'm making an 8x8 album so this is an 8x8 8 8 layout. So I cut some of my favourite cut files from the set and I knew that I wanted to use this for my title. And what I've done is I'm using my Kelly kit, which is a kit that I've put together. If you're interested in seeing more of this kit, I have a video, um, it's a playlist, so go and have a look and see what's in it. But mostly it's got the new Amy Tangerine, um, I think it's Oh Happy Place collection. And so what I've done there is I'm using that striped piece of the Amy Tan paper as my guide and my inspiration. And I'm just doing two-toned look or paint treatment on all of these die cuts. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my layout for Let's Get Sketchy for this week. I also used my Kelly kit, and I also did the same thing with the butterflies, did them two-toned, and I was inspired by the paper that had feathers on it. So because it's from the same collection, it's um, similar colours, and I loved it so much that I had to make another one like this. And... I'm actually loving this look so much, I think I've got two more layouts planned. So I um, haven't had video up for a long time, I'm really sorry. I've got less than two weeks to go now in this pregnancy and I'm pretty tired and uncomfortable. And um, I've been scrapping but I just haven't been filming. But I was really pleased to get this one done. So this is one of the words, I think it's, yeah, love. I did this one in two shades of pink and I just um, not trying not to overthink it just half and half on some of them like when I do the feathers on some I'll do the lighter color on the left or the right and just the darker color on left or right so I change it up so it's not all the same so I cut these feathers in I think three different sizes and now I'm just going through and coloring them as well and what I love about the feathers is they curled up. So it meant extra added dimension on my layout without having to add any pop dots or anything. I'm just loving these watercolours so much. I mean, if you've watched my videos, I've used them several times now. I just, I love the colours, the actual colours that they have. Um, I was watching Amy Tangerine. She did a um, vlog on her crop and create trip to... Montreal and I was really excited to see that in her class they were using the close to my heart watercolors as well so I want to say please excuse my voice I've actually got my daughter's cold and my nose is a bit blocked so if I sound a bit snuffly and nasally that's why so loving pink as always I just love the way these colors all go together perfect Okay, so I just took them off while they were wet, left them to dry there on my desk. And now I'm doing this word blessed in yellow, and this is one I don't end up using, but I cut it anyway. Um, I think if it had been a 12 by 12 layout, I would have fit it in, but 8 by 8 is a lot smaller. And um, easier, quite easier to scrap though. I was surprised. I've been making quite a lot of these because I want to get this done before the end of the year. Well, Obviously, I still have December to go, but I want to. I want this album to be full, and I hadn't done any layouts on it for ages, so I've been making a real effort recently. So I'm just using a small bit of double-sided tape, and then I will stitch around the edge of it. Not really sure why I was turning that around there because it is a, a square. So here's my photo. It's of my youngest Brielle, she's two, and we were just having a sleep in my in my room. Often in the afternoon we go to mummy's bed and have a sleep because I'm so tired and she still will often fall asleep. And she'd fallen asleep before me so I thought I'd take a little photo of her just to remember. And I'm grateful and thankful for these little sleeps we have in my bed because in less than two weeks everything's about to change with the arrival of this baby. And so the chance of us probably sleeping like this will be 
diminished a little bit. Well, maybe we still will if we can get the baby to sleep as well. Excuse me. So I tried to use this little piece of doily. It's a Studio Calico doily. I would got it on the crop that I went on, but I couldn't really make it work. And so now I'm just working on the placement of these die cuts. I just love how they turned out. Using a little bit of Tombow because I want to go through and machine stitch all the words down. So there I've sewn around the edge and I'm happy to report that I fixed my sewing machine. Unbelievably, I was having so much trouble with getting the stitch length correct. What the problem was is the bobbin has a little, um, I don't know how to describe it, a little feeder thing that it's supposed to go into that the thread goes into and I only realised that recently. So I've had the sewing machine for probably well over a year. And that was the whole problem with tension was actually that. So I was so happy. So many times I wanted to have a tantrum and throw it out the window. So I was so happy to fix it. So as you can see, it's a much smaller canvas than a 12 by 12. And this is just a um, photo that I've, I've, got, I've got the Project Life app on my phone now, which is fantastic for printing square photos and also 3x4 photos and even I think 3x2 photos on a 4x6. So I'm loving using it so much. And this was just a phone photo. And I must say that because I've got the Project Life app, I'm going back through my phone now and printing off photos and finally getting them scrapped. So here's a little afterthought. Decided to add a doily and it's the perfect shade of yellow. And my feathers. Just looking at how I want to place them. So there's really not that much extra embellishment in this layout because all these cut files that are watercolour do all the work for me. So I'm making a cluster of feathers on top of the doily. And just looking for my stapler there. And just adding a staple. And I had some wood veneer. I didn't want to use the word dream, but I thought it's too many words. And the font is different. Not that I'd want it to be the same, but it'd be too many words and too much font for one little page. So I've just added this uh, wood veneer heart. On top of my staple, I wasn't sure if it was going to hold or not, but Tombow is pretty good. And here I've just added, like I did with the love, just enough glue to hold it down. And then at this point, I didn't know whether I would stitch the title or not, but at the end, um, once I've finished the layout, I go and do the stitching. Because <laughs> I've got to stitch through a few layers when I go into my photos, so I kind of just put my foot down literally and go for it and have to be really careful not to stitch her face. So here I'm building another little cluster and with this one I've got three feathers. So super cute these feathers. Quite whimsical, I just love how they turn out. Ashley's cut files are so versatile. I mean, there's so much you could do with just this set alone. I love that she sells them in sets, so you get several. I mean, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six different cut files in the one set. So it's definitely worth the investment, and it's not even that expensive. So do make sure you head on over to the Etsy store and check out what she's got. Now, I did think about adding a second wood veneer heart, but I'm fussing around with it and... In the end, I just think it looks good without it. One thing I am finding difficult with making this album, though, is because I'm not doing it chronologically, I don't know what side each page is going to end up on in the album, if that makes sense. So I can't put my holes in yet. So here I'm adding my journaling, which is pretty much what I've told you about enjoying these last few moments with her, really, before the baby comes and we have these sleeps together. Wanted to use that feather, the last one, so I've just put it at the bottom. 
And now I'm going through the embellishments, the extra embellishments that I've pulled to go with this kit. Kelly had sent me some embellishments, but because I'm a really, I mean, she never gave me this, this as a kit, to be used as a kit, but I wanted to challenge myself and use it as one. So I've just added lots of um, bits and pieces from my stash, some older click kit stuff from my term on the design team that I had left over, and some even older things. So this was from one of the click kits kits and added a couple of phrases and I think a little one that says I love you which will go on top of that blue feather and my last touch is to add a bee on top of the wood veneer heart and I used I won um, a pack a heap actually of letter stickers and these are vellum I think a studio calico and they're gorgeous I won them at the crop, so I was really happy to use them up. So that is my final ad. I hope you enjoyed my process, and hoping I'll have some more videos up in the next week or so. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.